Today we're going to make a phone case that looks like a cake but has eyes and teeth. First thing we need is a blank phone case. I'm going to use thermoplastic to make gums for the teeth. I'm going to heat up the thermoplastic with a heat gun to make it malleable. I'm adding flocking fiber to the thermoplastic to make it pink. You need to be careful kneading it because it is pretty hot. I'm going to use these fake teeth to put into the thermoplastic gums. The thermoplastic will get more opaque as it cools down all the way. I'm using white adhesive caulking as the fake frosting for the phone case. I'm going to use some acrylic paint to dye the caulking pink for the face of the phone case. I'm going to do some practice layouts before I do the fake frosting on the phone case because I won't be able to mess around once I get the frosting on. So I like when the, um, when the teeth and the eyes are kind of all in a line because it look, makes it look funnier. Um, the problem is these teeth are kind of big. I could do it that way, but then if you're holding the case, you're gonna cover most of it. So maybe I'll use the smaller eyeballs. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you wanna smooth out the top layer pretty well and try not to get frosting all over the camera area. I'm gonna dye this fake frosting, this uh, blue color to use as the kind of frilly frosting that goes around the edges of the cake phone. This is a piping bag for cake decorating, and this is a decorating tip with little uh, jagged edges. And I'm gonna use that to pipe around the edge of the cake phone so it has that classic like frosting look. I think I'm gonna add some fake sprinkles to finish off the phone case. Uh, these are made out of plastic, but they look pretty real. It'll take about a day for all of this uh, fake frosting to dry. And once that happens, I can dust off any sprinkles that didn't get really stuck down. You wanna be really careful with the phone case while it's wet. Um, the frosting will hold the shape pretty well, but uh, if you touch it, you won't be able to fix it. So you'll have to scrape it off and start over. So uh, I'll check back tomorrow to see the final phone case. There you go. That's how I made a fake cake phone case. Thank you for watching.